Hello! I'm uh, feeling a bit better, still got a bit of a cough in my stomach, and still feeling a bit woozy, but I think I'm good enough to uh, react to stuff. Or at least get up out of bed, you know. So that's something. Anyway, I love the original Battlefield games. I mean, I originally didn't play the first one, I tried it later, but I still preferred the second one because it was so much more vibrant, interesting to me. Like, don't get me wrong, the first one had some interesting things like the battle on Naboo with uh, the Gungans. But other than that, I didn't find it all that great. But still, uh, I heard the re <laughs> the classical edition wasn't good, which made me very sad. I did originally play the Dice uh, Battlefront game. Well, the first one at least. Like, it was like, okay, it's good. Then they made a second one. I'm like, oh, this is going to be so good. Then EA screwed it up. Like... The game could have been great if EA didn't try to squeeze every little cent out of it. I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh, I know what's wrong with it. It's EA, and they try to squeeze every little cent out of everything. Quite literally, they try to squeeze their audience for money every chance they get. They need to, you know, just stop doing that. Maybe they'll make some actual money. I heard they're losing their license for FIFA and other things, but I could be wrong. But yeah, it's kind of deserved, let's be honest. That's why I don't really support them all that much. And their, the Bioware games that have been coming out uh, aren't making me feel much better. They're making me really save my money, though. <laughs> let's be honest. I don't think anyone was excited for Veilguard. I don't think I will ever be. Dear God, that thing looks like such a mess. It's not even a Dragon Age game. Before we start this video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Audible. I'm sure Audible. you've heard of Audible. Bandiful. They are Bandiful. the best place to find the highest quality audiobooks, not just in the I really should check the them out then. Itself, I like audiobooks. But also in the narration and oh, the Warhammer ease of use ones. of the platform. In particular, they have a wide variety of excellent thriller and mystery titles. Whether it's Ooh. on a walk, maybe you're going to the gym, or like myself, constantly painting miniatures, it's always something to kind of really get your spine. Yeah, team, I like can as understand you're that. Something or building something, and then you kind of stop for a moment and think. Oh, in fact, considering that we're all Warhammer players here, one of my favorite Warhammer thriller mystery books. I prefer is the Caiaphas King books. It's a fantastic Blade Runner noir s cop story about huh. a really, really, really rich lady whose one. son went missing, and yet while they can afford an entire private investigation force, she goes to the normal schlub like policeman guy. Yeah, and that doesn't is really weird. Seem to care much about why your son's missing. Hmm, <laughs> intrigue. So if you want, that's probably because she really does and just wants to make a show of it and be like, oh, yes, I do care about my son. What was his name again? Uh, Billy? John? I, I don't remember. I'm going to get started on your audiobook journey. Now go ahead and go down in the description to audible.com slash bricky or text bricky to 500-500 to get going on your audiobooks now. Thank you very much for sponsoring this video, and let's talk about that game. I want to make this extremely clear. Watch those wrist rockets. Do you ah, everyone remembers that one. Everyone. Watch those wrist rockets. Yeah, everyone knows that one because Super Battle Dose can be annoying with those. Understand what I'm saying here? Watch those wrist rockets. Oh my god. I'm going to be watching you. And it will oh, be a god. sight when I find out you are some kind of clanker sympathizer. Oh no. What? Well, that was a kind of strange announcement, wasn't it? Yeah. Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, the, the originals, being staples of my childhood, much like Ooh. the real staples, and they like that store faded into irrelevance with time battlefront huh. was at, at the height of my star wars fandom i was young loved the prequels be because i was young i don't like sans and most i mean i will admit there are some bad parts to the prequels quite a lot but they there are some good parts though like dear god those clones look cool 
adored the video games that came from yeah. Jedi Starfighter, Republic yeah. Commando, Jedi Knight, Bounty Hunter, Pod Racer, Ro Rogue Squad, Rogue Squadron. I played that. Like you can like your opinion on the uh, like the prequel series can be all over the place, but you can all agree that uh, the games that came out were phenomenal. Like, dear God, Bricky's not wrong. The games that came out around this time, like, the game for uh, Revenge of the Sith was amazingly good. Like, it was a tie-in movie game. Tie-in movie games don't have to be that good, but it was. Dear God. I mean, like I said before, movie games or games connected to franchises don't have to be nearly as good as they are. But for Star Wars, they usually are. Unless one developer just gets a hold, one publisher just gets a hold of them, but I won't go over that. Now, Willie, I'll be stuck here forever. That shit at the YMCA with those oh. controllers that had what? the giant stiff I have bendable never rubber seen casing that. they used to lock it down at a GameStop and other places. Star Wars was my entire childhood, not just from a cultural thing, but also from the entire video game point of view as well. And I look back at those flawed movies and games with a lot of love, especially considering yeah. the best thing modern Star Wars has put out is a television series about the random side character who dies in Rogue One. That being said, and yeah, Andor is really good. I still haven't watched Andor. In the comments, should I watch Andor? I know, like, Mandalore, at least the first two seasons are good. But, dear God, a lot of Disney Star Wars is not good. Like, I can say that probably the best thing they ever put out was Rogue One. But that comes with an asterisk with some of the parts are quite a bit... Mm, Meh. But, uh, yeah. And no, I don't count Star Wars Rebels. Star Wars Rebels, except for like two or three scenes, are not great. And this is coming from someone that loves Clone Wars. So, uh, yeah. I am um, Disney Star... It's kind of crazy how Disney has run Star Wars into the ground. It's like, Star Wars was one of those things that you felt like could never really fail. Until, um, until it started to, and the, basically the fandom grew apathetic. Which, I just want to say one thing before we continue on. The end of fandom isn't rage, or being angry about the current property or things going on. The end of it is apathy. If your fandom just doesn't care anymore, then you, you're, basically your whole entertainment franchise is done. You're pretty much done. Because the moment... Everyone starts feeling apathetic to the series you created. There's, um, it's kind of hard to defeat because you, you can't really make them any angry anymore. They don't care. There's a chance you could pull them back, but that's a lot harder. So, yeah. One way out. But Battlefront oh. 1 and 2 were at the fore, bringing us a yeah. huge volume of diverse locations, battlefields, Ooh. and one of my personal favorites, the I know space I'm blocking battles, Bricky a bit. You had to destroy various spots yeah. of an enemy capital ship from the I outside, remember this. I loved it. Board them from the inside. Clone Trooper Bomber. My beloved. So it I'm is also cool. The Clone Trooper Bomber was cool. Little fanfare. The remaster collection of the first two because games, they weren't including confident brand in it. new maps and heroes, is coming to Steam. Wait, they had brand new maps and heroes? That I didn't know about. I thought they were just bringing back the originals. And console for roughly. 40 bucks. This is being mm. made by company Aspire, who appears to have done various other collections such as the Tomb Raider remasters and ah. updated titles for the modern I had day. never heard it of them before this. It seems that their this. main job is to bring up old titles to modern machines and standards, as well as do Makes development sense. work here and there on mainline titles. So, I'm stoked. And I don't think nostalgia entirely clouds my vision here. I remember the game playing pretty well, having yeah. somewhat annoying voice lines. Command post under attack. Command post under enemy control. A command post is under Confederacy control. Hostile oh, yeah. Command post. Watch those wrist rockets. I still love that line. Variety 
and class choice on both sides. But yeah, see, yeah, this part variety. of the script is being written and filmed before the game has been released. Oh, I have a busy March, you know, I'm going oh, to dear. PAX East in Boston. I'm just trying to get ahead of my work. So I'm past Bricky, but I'm going to hand this past off to Bricky. future Bricky and we'll see okay. what he thinks of Bye, the past Bricky. Future Bricky, tell me what is to come. Why are we on Tatooine? Oh dear God. Oh my God. I know my eyes are looking oh weird. Oh my God. That's oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Buddha, uh. please. May Allah save my soul. What the fuck is this? Where's the justice uh. in the world? Where sinners run free. Turns out what? I... I <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I love talking about games with overwhelmingly in their reviews, red or blue. If you haven't heard by- God damn. That's, uh, yeah. I don't know exactly what was the problem with it. I just know a friend told me that it was bad and not doing well. And this is a friend I trust on uh, video game knowledge. So, yeah. Right now, uh, Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection is uh, basically the worst product that has come out in 2024. Oh, this god damn. Might even include the terrible asset flips that are dumped on Steam simply because of the emotional damage this product has caused me. Dear Lord, he is not pulling any punches, saying it's the worst to come out this year. God damn. That's a, that's a bold claim there, Bricky. Let's see how you back this up. I heard that the Battlefront games were coming back. I assumed it would be a version of the usual remaster. Because yeah. with games this old, that would make sense. Bring yeah. those bitches up to 60 frames a second minimum. Allow yeah. it to be 1080p resolution, also minimum. And allow it yeah. to have more streamlined options menus. And like, that's it. The, the minimum that can be done. But while I want to ask where from the depths of hell this product came from, hell is only a word. Reality oh, is much, much worse. Do I, oh. do I create, does creating create like a private game or does creating create like a game game? Because this looks like I'm creating a private game. Oh God. Um, okay. Okay, I, uh, I guess, I guess maybe, they don't... maybe I thought they would kind of, I didn't think that we would actually, this would go, this would be like, like it was 15 years ago. I thought there'd oh, be a little bit more they did... cle clearing it up a bit. You know? Oh, they didn't update any of the options menus. Oh, dear God. That's, uh, oh, dear God. No? Okay, I have to, is there, is there an add all? There is not. I have to, I have, to, have add to manually each individual add. map one by one by one. I had the wrong idea. I thought that I was playing, not really a remaster, but like something modern. I am playing a port. This is a port. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Uh. Ricky, what did you expect? Guys, what do you mean? What did I expect? This isn't, this isn't normal. It's, it's just, it's, it's the same game. It's literally the same two games, including the same. They made menus, no changes. The same game creation, the same graphics, the same fucking frame rate. Oh, but thank God they added the console exclusive heroes to the game. Thank God we have I can make her worse added to our collection. I don't know I who she is. I have this level of, of rage built up inside me that, that wants to be released. But I so they really changed nothing, even though you can buy the originals off of Steam. Wow. That's a, that's a swing and a miss there, EA. But then again, you're usually missing. I can't find a good outlet for it because it's saying the same thing over and over again, which is it's the same game. But luckily, oh, luckily for me and you, dear viewer, there are even more ridiculous things that somehow over the course of two decades, they managed to make worse. For example, huh? while the original games have extensive mod support, including custom servers, patches, and more, the new collection oh. does not properly account for any of those and therefore are completely worthless. Secondly, oh. Do you know how large Star Wars Battlefront 1 is as a game? Three gigabytes. Three 
Huh. Trace, son, do you know how large Star Wars Battlefront 2 is as a game? 4.3 gigabytes. Huh. Would you like to know how big Star Wars Battlefront Classic Edition is? It's 50 gigabytes. What? 50 gigabytes how? listed how? on Steam. When fully installed, it was 63 How? Where are those all going? 60 Seriously, where are those all going? Where are those gigabytes going? I am confused and hurt. Physically. And mentally. Where are those gigabytes going? I... I'm so confused. Someone help me. What, what is... Why? Also, I will say this is a funny picture to end on for Pricky. Three gigs for games pushing 19 and 20 years old. This product is 8.6 times the size of itself. It's yeah. even larger than Battlefront 2. The new one. It's larger oh, you... than L. What? How? How? I, I'm, I'm more confused now. I know that... I know how big these games are. This is why uh, uh, I'm confused. Someone help me. I'm dying. Not just because I'm sick still, but be I'm dying from this knowledge. This forbidden knowledge that I did not need. Uh... Golden fucking ring. Miyazaki could fit at least two more swamps before this hits 63 gigabytes. And thirdly... Dear God. This is an immense pet peeve of mine. Despite not adding basically a single new change to the options menu that's actually worth a damn, they okay. did add a streamer mode. So they added oh. one, lovely. There's a streamer mode. For the uninitiated, streamer mode normally does things like hide your name, IP address, well, you'd normally hide your IP address, but you know, sensitive information in a game. But most yeah. particularly, it hides your name in the video game, so you're not yeah. hit by stream snipers. It's a combination to keep you safe and the people watching your stream and people trying to kill you in game. Pretty simple stuff. It yeah. also normally does something else which is remove all copyright music from the game so yeah. you don't get struck down by the hand of god or That's what worse, happens. disney so if you're wondering why all of the battlefront gameplay here is quieter than a church mouse it's because they couldn't even do that right and the game oh. like in the original plays all the main themes you remember such as confrontation with count dooku imperial march the last battle the wampa's lair carbon uh. freeze and battle of heroes don't forget return to tattoo I know mm. the names of these tracks wow. because YouTube flagged all of them oh. individually in my stream video on my second That's why I was asking how does he know those channel, which I co-stream at the same time as my Twitch. Check it out. We play lots of fun games that aren't this dumpster fire and games that know how to remove copyrighted songs in the streamer mode of the game. Sam Lake, oh that hack, at least had a goddamn setting for it in control and you didn't do it in your re-release of two 20 year old games i'm Good going God. to piss my pants i'm going um, to shit. my jorts will don't. never be the same and the icing on the cake the final bit of this this whole disgusting pile is that the game is 35 dollars i didn't remember that two games stapled together at i didn't remember times this the file size no upgrades of any kind and for two games you can still buy on steam for yeah. substantially cheaper and with real mod support you are paying 35 bucks for an inferior product and the privilege to yeah. only click one game on steam instead of two brilliant actually yeah, this is actual highway robbery. Uh, this is like those graphical updates PlayStation has been doing for Last of Us. We don't care how graphically updated it may It was last gen, dear God. How much are the two games on Steam? So Hold on. Star Wars Battlefront Steam. Classic 2004. $9.99. How about Battlefront 2? $9.99. It's $20. Wow. For both games that are still on Steam right wow. now that are superior products to the two games that have been stapled onto each other and they charge an extra $15. They didn't even fix the bugs. I think I was getting bullet drop, which I can't really blame them for because uh, that was just how it was, I suppose, but. What? What? It's a sniper rifle. It's what? How is this missing? What? This sent me into a spiral.
like like it's an immensely damaging spiral it's not a loop it's a spiral like the, the whole product is shit don't get me wrong but when you look at the steam page advertising the game nothing there really says that i was supposed to get what i wanted play the star wars oh. battlefront games online and offline in this definitive collection the classic oh boy collection includes bonus maps that were only like console based at the time fight on the ground with all expanded hero roster or just Lucas like slowly fly logo. around that's it that oh never did they say this was an hd remaster oh never boy. did they say that it was fix the bugs or anything that they technically did not lie. And well, yet, and technically. I, I want to call it a scam. I, I can't legally. Because legally, the word scam carries weight. So if I actually said it, I could be liable for allegedly. This, shit. Just say allegedly this is a scam. Then you're free to go. Like, I will say it. This is allegedly a scam. God, does it feel like it's a scam adjacent? We're off script, by the scam way. Scam adjacent? Are, I don't have a script oh. for this part. We're gone. Oh. We're, we're flying off the seat of our pants right now, okay? Oh, boy. Battlefront is the game you would remaster. Battlefront 1 and 2, the, the new ones, you know, the ones that were released by EA later, they've got their problems, don't get me wrong, but once you sort out all the weird loot box crap in Battlefront 2, like, that game hits. Not only is it a hit, it's got the, the, the good music, the big scale, mm. all kinds of character options and, and different hero yeah. customization and, and choices, and it looks really good, it sounds good, and it has a- Now it no longer has microtransactions because they pulled that shit away because they realized how pissed everyone was. This is clapping because this is something that they had to take away because the first... Because EA thought of it for a second. Dear God. EA just can't stop. The shockingly high skill ceiling for some really good plays and players. Like, mm. those games are good. And if you're going to remaster yeah. something like the old they are now games, you'd want to give it a genuine ass facelift. You know, you, you took two games and then you stapled them together, did basically nothing but gave them the old heroes from the console stuff. And yeah. then charged $15 more for it. That's yeah. what happened. They, they launched with three servers and no one could play. Maybe because they were realizing this was going to be a colossal failure, so they didn't rent out any goddamn servers for it. You know, I'll give them credit where credit's due. They were right. So it got me It got me going down this whole rabbit hole. What okay. is a remaster? Because you, you think oh, about, you've got remakes and you got remasters, okay? So this is going to be a hole we're going down to. We're going down through this black hole. Because remasters and remakes are, um, from what I can tell, remasters are just the old games, usually with better graphics and whatnot. But uh, remakes are quite literally remaking the entire game fr from the ground up. Like, sure, they can look similar, but they're not exactly the same, if you get my meaning. When I think of, like, the biggest remake remake of remakes, you think... Final Fantasy VII. That yeah. is a remake of a exceptionally old game that is just a totally different video Exactly. Game. It's a different combat style, visual this is what style, I said. often different dialogue. It's just a completely different game, but it's a remake of that kind of original thing. Then yeah. you have below that remake but still very very faithful and that i would yeah. go with something more along the lines of resident evil 4. resident evil 2 that is I a can bit see more that. in the rebirth camp because the game was that stock camera angle resident evil style thing back when they changed the third person resident evil 4 obviously the original was a third person action horror and the new one is too but it's still pretty darn faithful you have the yeah. same characters you have the same villains a lot of the voice lines are the same even if they do take a little bit of you know a little bit here and there with it but the actual mm -hmm. gameplay of the game doesn't have as much of a massive departure as a resident evil 2 or a final fantasy rebirth does yeah i can then see it you have your more traditional remaster yeah we're gonna buff this game up with new visuals and that's about the farthest we're going to go to me i think of this like halo 2 anniversary edition the master chief collection is its own thing but halo 2 anniversary yeah is a the master chief collection ain't great with a better graphics crazy new visuals for all the cutscenes, but the yeah. dialogue and the gameplay and all of that is just about the same it's basically an identical game but with a huge visual facelift pretty then much you have your ad just 
bumped the graphics up. That we're thinking along the lines of The Last of Us. Yeah, this remakes, is what I talked about. And then also the Mass Effect remastered trilogy. Edition. Yeah, the, the Last of Us remake actually came with a lot of other impressive things like new options, menu, accessibility features, some good stuff like that. But for the most mm. part, it was just a visual facelift. And that's yeah, all pretty it much. Was. Mass Effect trilogy basically did the exact same thing. And last but not least, you have what could basically be referred port. to as a, a port or just bringing something up to modern hardware. I think of this like the Master Chief collection, you know, Pretty Halo much. 3 and let's say Halo 4, also Halo Reach. All these games got a little bit of a graphical thing. They went from 30 frames to 60 frames or more, which is fantastic. And they also mm. were able to run, yeah. you know, 1080p minimum. But the biggest and most important thing is now you can play it on PC with its own matchmaking style. That yeah. alone is worth its weight in gold for a lot of people. Being able True. to play Halo CE. To be able to play it again. In its own right, back when that was only some horrifying land network <laughs> Ethernet cable yeah. abomination back then, that's enough. So we have these various types of remakes: the full one for Final Fantasy, the mostly full one but faithful for Resident Evil, the Halo 2 kind of rebuild, and those then are all the good. Uplift facelift ports, etc. The ports. So what the fuck is this even? This is not a port. Because these games yeah. are already on PC and already on Steam. This is not a graphical remaster. Because it's he's the going, same. It's he's going full rant, guys. Get ready to lock in. Because I am here with him. And I definitely agree literally the same it looks the same if there is a visual or frame rate increase i did not see it it doesn't add yeah. better options you get your streamer mode but that's worth dick and that's it that's it i don't really ask for more rules in today's day and age but i've i, I gotta feel like there's there should be some punishment for this you're not gonna get I any more of like a legal system like oh this is against the law because of what we're getting over with that but valve god damn i feel like th there's gotta be some kind of precedent set here and, and i think yeah. that's one of the reasons why in that it's whole really just the chart, same there game. is no lie being told you know you weren't tricked we all thought it was something more well, we than were. what it was but the fact that what it was was it kind so of were like dog it, shit still makes me feel like i was scammed adjacent for legal reasons adjacent. this is a joke asshole so <laughs> have a lesson to be learned from this okay that one made me laugh for legal reasons this is a joke thing one double check that your remake remaster whatever the hell this thing is is actually what you say it is two maybe we should talk to someone about this maybe yeah. someone should get in trouble for this I, yeah. I would like someone to get in trouble for this for making this decision remember remember that unity guy that guy who was like we're gonna charge you for using unity even after you paid your dues or whatever that guy worked for ea apparently and wanted to charge you for like reloading your gun in battlefield and they fired him for being too greedy i yeah. feel like somebody here needs the same let's shit. be honest if we fire everyone at ea for being too greedy there's no gonna be any higher ups for ea which honestly would be a blessing treatments and just you know goddamn there, there are so many remakes and remasters that are coming out right now and, and a lot of them are are worth the salt there's definitely this issue and this happens a lot in hollywood too where mm. so many different movies are just being like this oh this is the old ip we had let's pull it back let's pull it in let's let's use that old thing we had and you're mm. getting tired of the bringing it back to the old days the the michael myers redone halloween movies but sometimes when you do that shit right yeah. when you genuinely yeah. give it the, the when you genuinely care it shows like without a doubt we, you genuinely care about remaking or remastering or what have you it shows like with this the attention it deserves it can be pretty good i mean final yeah. fantasy 7 right now is, is hotcakes resident evil 4 was nominated for I a still... ton of game of the year awards last year which i am maybe a little unsure about with the concept of like is a remake worth getting that but it was so yeah. damn good that i just kind of said eh. I, I swear to god i've gone to the point where Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection is so bad, I've gotten philosophical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is a remake, truly? Huh? What is truly a remaster? Because I don't this. know. Pretty. Star Wars Battlefront, the original, they're great games. They Genuinely, are. Like, they're incredibly good games. When I was playing this horrible piece of crap, 
I was actually having fun. Not because the yeah. collection was any good, but because it's Battlefront. And Battlefront's yeah. great. It's classic arcade fun Star Wars gameplay. And the fact that Battlefront 2 is no longer getting any kind of update and it's just kind of there to slowly die whatever death it's going to reach in a couple of years yeah. is pretty, pretty sad. And the fact that, that these games sad. can't even get a genuinely real remaster is heartbreaking. For all the issues they had on launch, Halo the Master Chief Collection is an incredible piece of video game preservation from a company that normally yeah i will say it's that it still has a lot and i mean a lot of problems but uh yeah it doesn't care about that kind of stuff it is a shitload of halo games that run on modern hardware that have good ui systems that are not too expensive and have active working matchmaking it is yeah. the standard that i think a lot of games need to hold themselves to especially considering how many of them are arriving and just dying immediately afterwards the battlefront games are being kept alive by a dedicated fan base and a modding community and that's about it these Pretty games much, yeah. deserve a real master chief collection style thing and i'm very worried that we're never going to get it so <sighs> sucks for us i guess the consumer again yeah for the 20th time that's all i got for you today just a philosophical rant from bricky because of the the inter i mean it was a fine rant bricky the excitement i had for this was crushed thanks for watching next video will be better i promise next video we'll get we'll get more into the the fun stuff i'll see you later later bricky. god damn come on obviously you're scared anyway i will say i completely agree with bricky on that and he did go kind of philosophical there but I'm going to end this video here, so if you like what I'm doing, like, comment, subscribe, do all that nice stuff, and, um, I'll see you guys later. I might post some things later, and, uh, I'll see you guys later. Have fun, guys. Take care of yourselves. And be good to yourselves. If you ever need a rest or are sick like me, I'll take care of yourself. Later, guys.